stop what you're doing right now. Hit subscribe and like this video. I am Dragon, owner of Dragon's Crypt. While doing this video, I had no idea what was going to happen. It was mostly a review over this app that I heard about, created, about, created by somebody on YouTube. It was called Ghost Tube Vox. So mostly what it does, it goes through frequencies and picks up uh, supposedly voices. So a little background about me. I've been living here all my life and I have been experiencing paranormal uh, situations. So I wanted to try to get something on video and guess what? I did. So in this video is me working and uh, I had to edit some of the parts because a lot of the parts, uh, a lot of voices didn't come in. Uh, first night was not very active uh, with uh, voices, just with like sounds. The second day they seemed to be very intelligent and also, I'm not going to show what they say. I'm going to let you th uh, think what they are saying. I also don't get that really excited because I've been dealing with this all my life. So it might seem like I'm acting, but I'm not. This is 100% real. Um, afterwards, I had to actually calm down and uh, quit the rest of my working day. I hope you enjoy this video and please hit that subscribe button and share like and comment what you think happened enjoy hello YouTube Halloween is just right around the corner and people have been wondering will I do anything spooky well if you don't know I have lived on this property for many years I live in a wooded area. I have been I've been here for most of my life. I have experienced many unusual things on this property, especially in this shop, which I call the crypt. So I've decided to uh, use. There's an app. There's a uh, very popular TikTok. Er, is that what we call them, TikTokers? Uh, that use a app called Ghost Tube, I believe it's called. So I downloaded it, and then, of course, you have to pay a fee, which is really small for only a month. So we're going to try it out. Uh, you'll see different clips of me working in the shop, and uh, it has uh, special tools it uses to try to get the ghost to talk or go through frequencies you're not supposed to have any electronics going running the only thing i'll have running is power tools those don't really give off any frequencies uh, so we'll see what we could catch i wonder if we'll catch something i guess you'll have to wait and see so let's take a, a little tour of the uh, crypt here and show you some uh, interesting moments i've had in this uh, shop. So here's the shop. Everybody's like, it's so dirty. Well, it's a shop. So I will probably have uh, my phone set over in this corner or over in that corner. Usually over there is where the weird stuff happens. So a lot of people believe in object attachment. I do have a memorial of a late friend that passed, uh, sadly. And then over here, I do have my grandfather's tractor. So that could be possibly what's going on. But before that, I didn't even have the tractor, so I've been experiencing ghosts or unusual activity uh, on this property, starting with so like this four foot level, 
that flew across the shop all the way over there. So that's pretty unexplained. Or these clamps that get thrown across the shop like that. So it's pretty uh, startling when that happens. The most startling experience I've had is I was using this bandsaw. I was face down like this. And I can see underneath here. So underneath this point where this point of view, I saw two cowboy boots and some jeans and I thought it was my friend. And my friend wasn't there when I lifted my head up like this. There's nowhere, no one to be seen. So yes, I've had a very unexplained experiences in here. And uh, hopefully, maybe we'll catch one. Let's see. Let's find out. Uh, if this uh, ghost tube app doesn't work, I will actually get a digital recorder and then some uh, flashlights to uh, contact whoever it is. I just give them a nickname of Casper. And they seem to like that. Nothing uh, violent, I would say, lives here or whatever. Um, but we'll find out. Also wanted to point it out, I do see a lot of shadow people in these woods on the property, especially at night. And then, uh, plus my dog goes crazy. It's not uh, animal or fox or coyote, something like that. Because I do shine the spotlight there, and usually a shadow figure dives behind a tree. But uh, I also experience uh, white orbs and stuff in the sky so yeah let's get to ghost hunting and doing some work while ghost hunting sounds like fun all right i don't know how long that's going to record for so uh let's get working time to build some coffins Great logo. Nick Green.
to the compound. Bijan to. I'm cutting wood. What are you up to? Google what? Did you say Google? Here, Ty. Orange. By T. O. Gonna move ya. Gonna move ya. Now if I walk over here, is it gonna be somebody over here? If I open this door?
How many ghosts are in here right now? How many spirits? How many people are in here? talking to ghosts, wild building coffin shaped things. Let's say humor out of it. Now sad, you know. Five, yeah. <laughs> Guys, go ahead and talk. You've been quiet for a while.
Uh, Lori, what do you... the thump back there. It's where a lot of the uh, stuff happens. Is that you back there? to blow my nose off camera. Saying it. Say what? It's her. One coffin done. Will be harder. You like my 
talking shelves. Lots of the living do. How many spirits are in, in here today? Today. And then you're not a. Alright, to Jerry is tonight and today put together. Will he walk him back there? Huh? Hearing noises. It is windy out. Not that windy. You say hi. Hi. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Because he might. Uh, Lori! Uh, um, it was made in. That was a movie? It was an animated claymation movie. Okay. All right, spirits, you're allowed to talk to the phone if you want to. There we are. Well, that was. Coffin boxes. Do an owl. Do a Ouija board. Does it not? You know who that was that came in earlier? That's Papa Drag. Yeah, pretty quiet for a Sunday. But it's Sunday's kind of a chill day, huh? Kind of same for people here on the other side. What's wrong? Let it.
savings. behind my back. <laughs> the end. The whole other, you sound like a kid. I hope you're not a kid then. Are you a child? I hope not, but. We're going to let the uh, glue dry. When you go back in the house, you have to stay out here. Don't fall in the house. I gotta check that table saw. Thanks, money on. I gotta check that table saw. I say I'm not really, I don't get real excited about this talking to the viewers because it's been happening so long. I finally got it on camera. It's always this level. Test Thank you. 
parts are coming now. I'm gonna have to step outside. Outside. Parts are racing a little bit. If you don't know, I suffer from a panic attack. But uh, adrenaline rush causes my panic attacks. That's definitely an adrenaline rush. I've been waiting, waiting so long to get that on camera. I finally got it. So that's the second time that's happened. I don't know what it is with that, uh, not ruler, but a level. It's a four foot uh, metal plastic level. And I bought it from an auction. So I don't know, maybe somebody's connected to it. I don't know, but I am just, I'll probably bleep this out. I am, I got that on. All right, let's go inspect this thing. All right, we're coming up to the uh, level here. This is the level that took flight. So as you see, this is the way I had it setting. It wiggles a little bit. I mean, it is, but that thing was like lifted up, stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting. As you say, happy Halloween. All right, I'm going to call this a video. Got a lot of uh, stuff to go over. I'll definitely go over that a little bit more. Man, I'm ha happy I caught that on camera finally. Don't Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button too. So I might have more videos like this. See you later.